Greetings, everybody. Welcome back to part three of episode 18. We're taking a look at 20 more of these level 50 characters I have on the City of Heroes homecoming server. This is my shield defense, Psy Melee, Psy Mastery, Tanker. His name is Ortonus. I've been saying it wrong this last couple of videos. Forget my own character's name, how embarrassing, but Ortonus. Uh, and as was guessed by one of the viewers from the last video, he is based loosely upon the idea of the, the lanterns. He is a yellow lantern, and his name, if you read it backwards, is one of the most famous, probably the most famous yellow lantern out there. But that was kind of the concept behind this guy is that Psy Melee with the, uh, the punches and the blades and then the shield all really kind of screamed uh, animating, manifesting light, not psychic power. So that's what's going on with Ortonus here. And we're going to take a look at his uh, team action, his team tactics. So I'm going to round up a few other scoundrels and villains and such. We're going to run some red side tips and papers in a minute. Uh, but before I do that, I did want to revisit a couple points on the mids build that I kind of glossed over a little bit when I talked about that in the first part of this little mini video series. And that is I am stacking controls here. So I did, did want to point that out as that is another uh, type of mitigation I've got going aside from the, the knockups, which is the main thing. Uh, for instance, holding, I have dominate the single target hold from Psy Mastery. So that's a straight up hold. Uh, then you have Greater Psy Blade. That has a hold component to it as well. The numbers here in mids don't tell me how long it is aside from uh, they can be held for a short time. So I don't know exactly what the mag is on that. Uh, but I have been holding people fairly well. And then I do have a third source of hold. And you would have seen this if you watched the solo videos. I have Superior Blistering Cold sitting here a winter set in mental strike and i have the chance to hold proc uh, in this power so that's a third way in which i can get holds to land on people uh and the hold on this one is mag three looks like eight seconds uh three procs per minute so anyway between that between dominate which i think is probably a mag three hold as well yeah mag three hold 18 seconds and then whatever you get out of the side blade, it's probably at least a mag two. So I've got like mag eight potential for holding just a few seconds. It's not going to, you know, be crazy, but it's something I can lock down a boss. You saw me doing that in the solos a little bit when I was trying to make sure those uh, vampire bosses and stuff didn't transform into, uh, into the wolves. Then the other uh, type of control that I've got going is actually a stun or a disorient. And you get that partially from Psy Blade Sweep here. So this also procs a chance to stun. Uh, again, Mids has not shown me what the number is on that. But I have seen some dudes stunned a bit. So I'm guessing it's probably Mag 3, Mag 2 at least. And then I'm pairing that with, against all odds, I've thrown the Triumphant Insult Chance to Disorient proc in it. This is only Mag 1, so you're barely going to notice it. I think Mag 1 might not even be enough to stun a minion or minions only. But coupling that with the Psyblade Sweeps stun, I have been seeing stuns of tenants and bosses and stuff. Uh, so this thing's going to proc every now and then. It's two procs per minute, Mag 1, and it's only a few seconds, three seconds. So it's not going to be, again, uh, making or breaking the build, but it is adding up so that's you know my my theory of you know mitigation in this game is not to put all your eggs in one basket or another but to get a layered approach so i just wanted to point that out those are a couple other things you should see during the uh, during the runs with this build all right so uh hang tight for a second i'm going to get this team set up and then we'll be back and run you know three four five uh missions to see how things go catch you in a minute all right, I think we got our foundation of our team ready here. We've got a war shade that is level 29. We've got a incarnated corruptor vet level 53. We've got a little baby brute level 2. Ooh. But we've got ourselves a vet level 73 brute. And we got ourselves a stalker. Level 43. 
And I think, I don't know if anybody else is showing up. I don't really think we need anybody else, but let me just see if there's anybody LFG or whatever here. Let's see if there's so many couple people sitting here. Let's see if this level 10 wants to join up for 54 times 8 team here in PO. I'll message a couple of people that are low level here. Up for 54 times 8 team here in PO. Check in with two final people. P E O P L E. All right, so here we go. We're going to do this team mission. Uh, we have a couple of tips lined up. We got three of them, two of them here in Port Oaks. I usually skip these just because I'm lazy and I don't feel like coming into the zone, but I got two of them, so I'll figure what the hell. Start over here. And then we'll go probably over to Granville unless I get some more tips in this zone. Kind of corrupt here. We want this guy. Up for 54 times 18 MPO. All right, screw it. We're going in. Who needs eight people on their team? Send. Do, do, do. I don't know, maybe they're on their team already. Going in, guys. Oh, yeah, what is that shit? Got some action already. I don't know, this debuff crap is going to be good for me. Freaking debuffs, but they don't like sign or that. This mission seems like I've never played it before. remember this mission and I figure I've played them all at this point this level was our stalker I don't remember if I saw 43 oh, look at these guys Oops, a daisy. Squish. We've got one of our uh, fellow best to worst people going to be joining us in a minute. Didn't take a look at people's power sets, but it looks like that Corruptor's Time, yep, Temporal Revenant, Time Dark. Yeah, I invite the team. See if I can get this guy ace. There you are. That 
said you were not there for second ace. Where this guy's taking a lumping, he's not shedding any HP here. for a boss and he's been getting pounded on. Feed the Count's host. Yeah, I really don't remember this mission at all. Jump in there. I probably have skipped this thing so many times. Alright, we're a pretty melee heavy team, so kind of changes my you know sort of normal tanking. Not so much worried that oh I got squishy people lost behind me. over here up 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 ups a daisy downs a daisy 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 oh this is too crazy going here. I don't know what's through the side. Anything? Nothing? Ah, oh, dang. Like, got twisted around now. Alright, see which way we're going. This way? This guy's going to... Oh, yeah, I know where we are now. Haunt your ass down here. Damn fools. There should be a... Yeah, that's where we want to go this way, right? That one goes back the way we came from, so I don't care about that. It's for freaking Warshade City. Some debuffery, huh? Got your debuffery. Look at this, man. Alright, eat some Skittles. It's fine, we're okay. Ooh, I'm freaking redlining it, guys. Alright, bust the Sears out. Buff is stinging. They made me pull, pull my sears. You got Skittles and Rebirth. Whoa, what the hell was that? Get 
These guys are delivering the ouchies. Oh, no shit. Uh, that's crazy. Where are we now? I'm going freaking backwards. I got turned around in there. Err. These maps are a pain in the ass. I mean, I like cop maps just for the thematic, but they're just a pain in the ass to manipulate around or maneuver. Again. Yeah. Got so much debuff. It's not funny. I can get that alpha strike in there, then they don't really stand much of a chance. But once they start getting the debuffs laid down, they're a pain in that keister. I don't know if this defeat the host is like everything or what. Get in here. Defeat the Count's host. I hope it's not one of these things you get all the way back to the effing start, you know? Deadly. Are they around the back? Yeah, there they are. More friends back here. his ass. And look, a teleporter. Let's go this way and find out. Oh. I don't know if I'm going this way. I'm going to take a peek. Shit. Another tunnel. These guys are debuffing hard. <laughs> Nuke. 
These guys debuff hard. We miss. Miss something? If there's something down this way, maybe. I wonder if it's like that first group, because they were friendlies or whatever. Sometimes you gotta, like, talk to somebody or whatever bullshit. There's a dude. Who said that? Ace. Where's there a dude? Ace, where are you, bro? Oh, Ace is teasing. So there was a friendly group way back at the start. Sometimes it's one of those ass chunks that you got to uh, talk to. Um, I think that's a talk to some guy back here. We're friendlies. All the way freaking back here. Keep going, keep going, keep going. We're almost there. Go back to this first room because I suspect. Is there friendlies back here? No. Might have found somebody. More map. Seriously. I don't think this map is that big. The coral left us. Ace of Shades is going solo. You're going rogue, Ace. This map is freaking huge. Stompy stomp. Here we go again. Thanks to the lift. Oh, dude. Savage.
summoning altar or something. Huh? Summoning altars, huh? Don't tell me we gotta go all the way freaking back. Don't tell me. <laughs> oh shit, I bet you. I mean, these tips are fun and all, but sometimes it's just freaking ridiculous. But you make one wrong turn and... So you can kind of show up on the map would be nice. Get stuck on every freaking torch. Whoa, 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 whoa. More XP. This is a kill all times two. Nice if they showed up on the map. Be nice if it was on the map. It's like three in a cluster there. I don't even know where that group came from unless we just never killed them the first time through. This is insane, guys. This is like a task force. If this is all the way back here, I'm gonna shit.
I get it so debuffed. Serious debuffage. Has anyone done this TF before? Boil, they scathe, they cut with jagged strokes. What the hell's wrong with this guy? What the hell? I swear I've never ever done this mission before. That was effing crazy. Wow, that mission was freaking 30 minutes. <laughs> well, sorry, I did about 10 minutes of talking, but damn. <clears throat> that was nuts. <laughs> tip here. This is crazy. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Probably could use a little bit of buff for control to kind of give us a little more oomph if possible. Let's see. Boom. Team looking for one more. Let's give that a shot. Influencer. We should get this uh dominator on the squad. Use some controls. Alright, we got a freaking blaster. Damage. Alright, man. Let me know. When you zone in. He's F7 me. Who needs buffing? <laughs> this is fucked up. Temporal is our token. All right, so we got our blaster is Vet 143. All right. Somebody was making coffee. That was Lucinda. All right, so we got a decent mix of vets and non-vets. Let's see what we got in store here. We've got some cray-cray. I have done this one before. Crazy times ahead. Uh, uh, uh. Taunt some crap down here.
Taunt me, I'll taunt you, bitch. Mashed him up. Got to find the head nurse, okay? Not this way, apparently. Oh, goes this way. The fuck is that? Oh, that's the entrance. Shit. Um, is it this way? Get this fucking map already. Jesus, seriously. Getting crazy maps today. All right, looks like they got that one worked out. Oh, going up. Uppity up. Yeah, you got another tip. Maybe it's in Fort Oaks. Our blasters like tanking. That's funny. Love it. You know what? If you got the nuts, go for it. I don't care. Crushed. I can't see shit. Oh, dude. Somebody lit the shit out of those guys. Get down here. There it is, guys. Vet level, whatever. 13, I think. Shit, we need a nurse. These guys do need a nurse. Quantum. I wish your T, uh, your telekinetic size shit had a little bit of reach on it. Oh, it's not a second group. That's, I don't think I've seen that before. All right, looks like they've got that. Solved. Yeah, 
Yeah, send in the cot. Going up. She's getting wrecked. Bend back the nurse's thumb painfully. Where's Dr. Hansiger? I'm certain I can convince Rodriguez it's an emergency. I'll tell him that you, you're severely injured. Wuss. Quantums. He's got this guy. He got dog piled in the corner. This this game needs like a talk to type or something feature. Well, I guess you know voice, but if that was built into this game, that would have been awesome. in a second. Is this, uh, Rod yeah, the surgeon. Of course. He's going to nuke. Oh, wow. That was close. <laughs> nice. These guys are throwing out damage. Tips. Do I have another one here?
I do record one last video here. Alright, let's go. If we have any more people on a spot. All right, Lucinda's taken off as well, so we're losing a couple bodies here. See ya. I'll grab one more person. get my heads kicked in here. I'm really liking the combo of Rebirth with, uh, what is that? Whatever that's called. Ah, ball sacks. Come on, guys. to bed right, another tip all right which way do these guys go i went this way 10 bucks says there's something going to be down that tunnel behind us god damn man i'm getting like the worst maps jeepers creepers come on turn off sprint Sabotage the parade, sabotage the war cry robots. Sabotage, sabotage. Where the fuck are we? Oh man, this map is going to kill me. The problem is, like, the elevation changes make it super jerky when you fall down these little hills. All of a sudden, you like accelerate and slam into something. Enemies running around here. Crushing, dude. We're just crushing people. There's probably guys over here.
pups a daisy again. I've actually played healer a couple times. That's why I like sort of the regen side of rebirth. Because it'll give you that lingering bonus for yourself, even if you've used it to heal. God, freaking come on. Alright, here we go. We got a team that's splitting up, heading in every direction. And I gotta deal with this freaking Rezzer back here. I hate these guys. Alright, lights out. Alright, they're going this way. Start stomping them. Guys got squashed. What the? I'm gonna go this way. What the? F I'm gonna go this way. I think I got him. It's like a Reichsman task force here. Freaking stray council just running through the map. What the fuck? Dude. Runners? It's just stray guys running through the map, I think. I think somebody got away. We just stand one place and let them come to us. Yeah, some more guys. Where are they? Back this way, I think. Wow. This mission wouldn't be so bad if the map was better. You know, because as a tank, you'd like to be able to intercept this crap with taunt, but you have, like, shit for line of sight. <clears throat> Alright. I think I'm going to end the recording there. I, you know, you can see what this guy can do in a team. Uh, you know, we're solid with a bunch of melee guys, so I didn't have to play tank so much as just kind of chipping in with some extra damage, AOE, that sort of thing. See ya. So I mean, I'll do one more for the new guys, just for... Yeah, I got another here, if you're staying. But overall, I mean, the build is fun, right? I mean, you get to throw around a lot of AOE, you get to throw... Yeah, I mean, you take damage, but it's not over the top obscene. You've got rebirth. You've got your. Uh... God, I'm drawing. What is. It? Okay, the power. I'm going to remember it this time. Unleash potential. 
You got those two powers keeping you alive. You got to throw in some greens, you know. It's no big deal. You can take, like, a quick alpha in, but you do have ways to get uh, absorbed, that kind of stuff. So, anyway. Fun build. Interesting. Uh, I've got it posted over on the Homecoming server. City of Heroes there, so take a look. Uh, it's in the description for the this uh, video down below. The link will take you over there if you want to go download the build for yourself. In the meantime, you guys have yourselves a good uh, evening, good weekend. I'm going to be doing two more of these for the end of this 2020 Rewind. Uh, it's going to be one of my new characters. I just got rolled up. He's not 50 yet, so i got to take a few more, you know, whatever, a couple days to get that straightened out. In the meantime, I'm going to think about my number 20 person. I've got some ideas, but I haven't decided anything yet. All right. See you in the next one. Later.